We are in hell in Norway. It's a small town in Norway and it's the fifth round of the World Rallycross Championship. We are in hell, Norway. The atmosphere here with the mountains, with the people, it's amazing. And the circuit really drops down so much. You got maybe 20, 30 meters of elevation. And the rhythm you get from that, it's so, so cool. And uh, it's one of the most fun and difficult tracks on the calendar, but also the one where the most people are the closest because the lap isn't so long. No, it's really, really a proper rallycross track. It's the first classic circuit that we're driving on, so now it's proper rallycross around here. It's gonna be hard, it's always hard fighting. We have done the practice, I went second fastest. We are just now heading into Q1, uh, racing getting started. We have to get a good Q1, so we get in a good position, we get on the inside for Q2. That's so, so, so crucial for this weekend. I'll focus and, and get my job done in Q1. I think my manager just went a too tight line and uh, he came with, I don't know, 50 kilometers more than me going into the Joker and he hit my left front wheel. Uh, so there was some damage. Uh, then I did what I could, but I had, I lost too much in the beginning. Uh, I tried to, tried to do more. Uh, then going into the Joker with the car, he was blocking the entire line. Uh, and the only place there's still to go was in the very, very loose sand. He grabbed my rear, put my car back straight, and, and a big understeer right there. And that's not what you want in the Joker, so yeah. Very frustrating, like everything went wrong. Just have to get it back together, focus again. I think we are fast. Uh, it was just this race didn't go our way at all. On this track, often the pole guy has a huge advantage. So coming from the outside, from fourth, it's not an easy task. I don't know if I should take the Joker or go the normal lap yet. I just have to use uh, my experience and my instincts and my feeling going up to turn one. And then it's a decision need to be made like this. It's gonna be crucial for the result, but I can only do my best, so that's what I'm gonna do. Q1 and Q2, um, it's been an up and down day, I have to say. Oh, we f***ed up today, basically. <laughs> then from the outside and the race, it's hard. Then it's Norway is so unforgiving. You have to be on the inside if you want yeah. to do well. We are 5th and 6th in the World Championship in this race. It's not so bad. Like, it's not <laughs> so good either when you're leading the World Championship. It was a good day. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. None of us crashed. <laughs> you did? <laughs> I did a little scratch. <laughs> little scratch. It's just a little scratch, doesn't count.
Good morning. <laughs> it's a good morning again. We're in hell. It's Sunday of the FA World Rally Cross Championship. Let's go get it. Car has been fixed overnight. Got some small bruises, but uh, it's in top shape. We have new tires prepared right here to put on in Q3. So because we didn't have the perfect day yesterday, we need some extra through qualifying now. We only have two sets of tires during the weekend. Both of us have chosen to put the second set already yeah. in qualifying yeah. so that we are able to climb up so that we can start in a good position. So yeah. it's a bit of a strategy call we're making right now. Hope that it's gonna pay off. Yeah, I have Paul, mm. Kevin second. Yeah. If everything goes ideal, we are able to push as hard as we can to use the performance of these good tires. And then hopefully at the end, at the finish line, we're first and second. Cars are ready, we are ready, let's go get it. but uh, just watching the last race and we are one and two at the moment so fingers crossed thumbs yeah. holding everything, everything we're all now now we go for q4 it's time to wrap up the qualifying and uh, make this a good one i have poles so i have uh, i have every chance It's definitely rain clouds right there. And is it 20 minutes to the semi? We haven't driven on the wet this weekend. Can be tricky, can be tricky. So we'll have to be open to anything that happens. The drive we know, we put some thought into the wet and uh, we are ready. Well, uh, if it's gonna rain, it's gonna completely change the racing. But uh, still, only one guy you can win. Semi final is just around the corner. I'm starting pole, Kevin is starting third. down we had to run to the grid yeah to get in the car and it was you know it was flooded everywhere on the track so what happened was I didn't nail my sword I had too much uh, too much engine and it just started spinning the wheels yeah. I made a mega sword I was flying between those yeah. two and into the first uh, into the first corner in the lead you went from third to the lead and I went from first to last oh, she yeah. Start. yeah that's really tough
qualified for the final. I had again a super launch from fifth, and you know, it was such a crazy race. And the water hose with the water on the windscreen broke, so it was raining everywhere inside my car. Everywhere. So I was watering the face on the front screen, and I couldn't see out. But still, I had to you know, keep it together in the grip. But in the end, uh, we, we got P2. And on the second place, we have Kevin Hansen, Sweden. We got P2, yeah. we got some great points. Um, we are still one and two in the championship and we are halfway in the season. Nice. Halfway yeah. in the season and one and two in the championship. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Oh. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> Why don't you do that? I don't know, I can do it if you want. Handsome Thank Brothers, you. out. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Bye.